Alright, so I am very excited to be showing this stack. Um, <clears throat> I kind of checked it out just for a minute. Uh, just to see what it was about. Because I haven't really checked it out before. Uh, and it did just come out. So this is the Hobbywing X-Rotor Micro Combo Flight Controller F4G2 and 45 Amp 4-in-1. Man, they are just so nice looking. So it looks like they conformal coated the flight controller. I don't know about the 4-in-1. I guess you don't really need to do it on that. But uh, maybe they did it on the bottom of it. Let's look at this. Yeah, they did it on the bottom of it. It's not the top part. And that's, I mean, why would you really even need to? You know, you got your motor wires on the edges. And then nothing's going to even get on the inside. Unless you, like, dunked it underwater, you know, but... Actually, you know what? It is conformal coated in the center there. And there's nothing that could that you need to worry about getting wet in any of the spots that they didn't conformal coat. So, looks like they know what they're doing. Current sensor. That's nice. I swear, they Hobbywing just knows what we need in our stacks. I mean, these things are just perfect. Uh, I was looking through the book for a minute, just real quick. So, you got two big old books for each one one for each one um, so let's go through what you get so you get the 4-in-1 45 amp F4 flight controller conformal coated on both sides so it's all conformal coated you get a bag with like five plugs in it See, I don't even know what a couple of these are for because this one might be for this. This must be to go to their VTX. They must have a uh, VTX. I didn't look, but I bet they have a VTX that goes with this stack. So that goes in there. And this one, let's see, are both these the same? Yeah. So this goes from here to the ESC. The wires are not silicone. They're like that hard plastic, you know, but still that's not a big deal. Especially when there's no there's no soldering involved, you know. I mean, usually people don't like this type of plastic on the wire because when you go to solder it, it melts back real quick. But there's no soldering, so could be a little bit shorter oh wait they do have a shorter one and this is silicone <laughs> and that's not so this is that hard plastic but then this is silicone and I think they're the same oh maybe not no they're not the same and then there's this one this must go to the VTX as well I mean for the VTX plug but it doesn't have the other end of the plug so that you can use a different kind of VTX I guess So yeah, this must go straight into their VTX that they have. And that is soft silicone wires. And this is. So these two are soft silicone wires, and so is this one. But these two, three, are not. Um, so yeah, a shorter one would probably be much better. Damn. It's a tight fit. Yeah, that's much better. And that's exactly how it would go, too, because this is the back of the foreign one, and the arrow on the FC is pointing that way, so that's how it would sit, just like that. It's really nice that they have the rubber grommets on both of them. It's pretty awesome. And there's nothing except for this plug, so you can get real close to each other. I mean, that's pretty low profile. Um, okay, so on the foreign one, you got giant pads, huge pads. 
only on one side, but they do kind of wrap around so you can get a real nice solid solder onto your battery cable. The uh, motor pads are huge as well. They use some kind of silicone. It's not soft, it's hard for the plugs, which is just awesome. I mean, that plug's going to be super hard to break compared to a lot of other ones that I've seen that don't do that. So that's pretty cool. They do it on the flight controller as well, on this plug and this plug. So that's nice. Look at that. I mean, they're using some kind of silicone on there. They're conformal coating it all. I mean, it's it's almost bulletproof. That's really nice. Uh, okay, so let's see what we got here. So there's a current sensor on the foreign one. We got... Let's see. On here it says uh, 10 volt ground battery current. Let me look at the uh, booklet. 10 volt ground battery current ground 5 volt and then signals 1 through 4. That is so awesome that it has a 10 volt and a 5 volt. That's exactly what we need usually. Sometimes you might be using a Unify that only takes 5 volts, you know, but you got a 5 volt there. Uh, and the 10 volt would be perfect for any camera. Or, you know, there's a lot of uh, VTXs that need 7 or more volts, so that would be perfect for the 10 volt. And you can always use 5 volts for any camera. Uh, it does have a SD card slot here for a black box which is nice for some people. I like how all the pads are on one one side. There's nothing anywhere except for this one side right here and that's the back. So the back of the flight controller and the pads are on both sides. So that's nice. And then this plug like I said is for the VTX and that's where your uh, video in and out 10 volt ground R6 T6. So that's really nice. So what we have here is uh, three spare UARTs, which is what we need usually because for me, you know, I like to use smart port and smart audio and sometimes also crossfire. So, you know, sometimes you need three spare UARTs and here you got it. So that's pretty awesome. So I'm sure, I mean, that's all for your VTX right there, which is awesome that they have that separate it's the video in, video out, 10 volt, ground, and then R6 and T6. So, you know, T6 would probably be for smart audio. Um, and then you got your spare RX3, TX3, and RX1 and TX1. You also have ground, ground, 3.3, 5 volt, S bus, RSSI. And then you have two more 5 volt ground right here. And then you have another 10 volt LED and then your buzzer buzzer pads. So there's Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so there's two 10 volts and three 5 volts. One of them being for your receiver. I think the other ones are uh, one and a half volt or uh, amps, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Let me see if it says. I don't think I mentioned either the uh, the ESC is BL Heli 32. And uh, the gyro is, what was I reading? It can do 32 kilohertz, which is awesome. Um, let's 
Yeah, I don't think it says what the BEC is. But that's okay. I'm sure it's probably one and one and a half or two amps. Maybe more. Yeah, it doesn't say. Pretty nice though. I mean, I can't think of anything that is missing. Um, you also get this bag right here, which has two big caps in. I mean, they're huge caps too. And then the hardware is awesome as well. It's not plastic. There's no plastic or nylon. Is this two different size ones? Yeah, it is. It's a long skinny one and a short fat one. This is a 1035 and this is a 56035. That's pretty cool. They give you two different ones. This one's huge. Yeah, and then the hardware. So you get some nice long... You get everything for your, that you need for your stack. Oh, I didn't notice that. They give you more heat shrink too. There's a bunch of little uh, small clear heat shrinks. There's these little spacers that are probably for in between the uh, flight controller and the foreign one. But, you know, anywhere you want probably. But um, there should be, let's see, two, four, f two, four, six. I thought there was eight. Oh, there is eight. Okay, so there's eight of those. So you could probably, you know, four of them underneath the four and one and four of them on top of the four and one. They're not that tall, but they're tall enough to be just right. They look like they're maybe three or four millimeters. And they have threads in them. Well, this one does and this one doesn't, so. Is there two different sizes? Yeah, one's a little bit taller. And it doesn't have threads. So the one that's a little bit taller doesn't have threads. And one's a little bit shorter with threads. I love... See, I sometimes instead of using a spacer, I'll just use a nut. Just for the reason that it'll hold the screws in place while I'm trying to build my stack. Because I hate like trying to hold all the screws up while I'm putting my stack together and stuff, you know? So that's really awesome that they put threads on these. So you could probably use the shorter ones, yeah, on the bottom of the foreign one. Because it's pretty flat. There's nothing sticking out. So... Yeah, that would definitely work on the bottom. And then the one that's a tiny bit taller, it's probably like one millimeter taller. For in between the stack. And then you can squeeze it down. That's pretty awesome. That's some nice hardware. And they're all, they're aluminum because they're super light, like feather light. Except the screws, I believe, are steel. They're heavier. And aluminum nuts too. Like light as a feather. Lock nuts. To hold it all together. That's so awesome. And then a bunch of these little heat shrinks. Who knows what they're for. Probably if you're hooking up some other type of ETX besides their own. That's so awesome. So yeah, 32K. It's a 45 amp 4-in-1 with a burst of 60 amps. Um, BL Heli 32, so D-Shot 1200. F4 flight controller, 32K. 10 amp BEC, 5 amp BEC. Separate video. SD card, conformal coated, rubber grommets, giant pads. <laughs> it's just awesome. 
I love it. So there you go. That's it. Then you get a couple stickers, same as their other stack. Oh, it does say on here, one and a half amp for the five volt and one and a half amp for the 10 volt. Sweet. And it's three to six S. And this runs Omnibus F4 SD firmware. Nice. All right. Well, that's all I got. Questions or comments, leave them below. And thanks for watching. Oh, no, one more thing. Uh, I still don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Let me know what you think I should do. But either way, I'm going to test it and give it away somehow. So let me know what you think. All right.